Hey everybody, Barantos here. So I wanted to make a quick video on my initial impressions of the Walther PDP. So what I got here is Walther PDP in the four and a half inch barrel with the full size grip. I've actually uh, didn't think I would be doing this, but I threw on the largest back strap here because it just, the way that the palm swell works on this one feels really good. It doesn't go left or right. I don't feel it shifting or anything like that. Big fan of this grip texture. Everyone raves about it. I had to feel it for myself. It's really great. It's like there's little tiny, they're almost like uh, cubes, but they have like the, the three-dimensional tip sticking out. So there's definitely a lot of grip here. It comes with an optics plate. Unfortunately, I have astigmatism. I haven't found a red dot for handguns that uh, I've been able to see clearly and use. Would love to try that in the future. You know, maybe if Primary Arms uh, makes a, a prism sight for pistols somehow, I would love to try that. So going over this a little bit, there's these uh, holster cuts here as well as, you know, if you, if you wanna, you know, venture out there, you can grab on the end to rack this. The slide serrations are pretty good. They don't have sharp edges or anything, but they're deep enough and they give you, they're thicker, uh, but they give you good grip that you can rack this. Just to show you the gun is empty. It's got adjustable rear sight back here and it's the typical three dot. Uh, I does not come with night sights or anything like that. I'm planning on replacing these sights with, uh, I believe an excess big dot. Uh, I'm gonna try those out. I'm looking for sights that you know, when you look at down the sight picture here, these block out, you know, to the left and the right of the target you're looking at. So what I'm actually looking for is with that excess big dot is that sits above the sights and you can see kind of the peripherals on your target. Uh, what everyone talks about with this gun and kind of all these Walther semi-automatic striker guns is the trigger and they're not wrong. I have a Waller PPQ, the original with the paddle shifter. And this feels about like the same trigger. It's got a really smooth pull. So uh, unlike, you know, the HK VP40 I did in another video, this one, it, you hit a wall, there's no kind of creep, and then it just breaks. So it, it's really great on that. The one thing that I'm a little disappointed with in this gun, uh, I get it though, I, I do get it. Uh, is it uses a button release. So Walther PPQs originally had a paddle release. I was a huge fan of that. Unfortunately, Walther does not offer any PDPs with the paddle release. Uh, it's only this button here. They put kind of a shelf around here to protect it from unnecessary kind of uh, triggering it. But the one thing I would say, other people I've seen on YouTube complain about it. I believe 1911 Syndicate, uh, Chris mentioned it, and I had to feel it for myself. But if you see, when you have your trigger finger here, you, it's almost like the ledge on this other side for the ambi purpose of it is just sticking out here for no reason. So I'm actually thinking of taking this down uh, to make it flush, as well as this one, because I don't really have issues where... I accidentally engage the magazine release. Uh, there's been nothing like that. Um, the one thing that I'm really excited, I haven't shot this yet, uh, is seeing the accuracy on it. My Waller PPQ, um, regardless of the trigger, is probably one of my most accurate handguns. Uh, it, it's unreal. Uh, I'm not really a fan of the recoil impulse on the PPQ. It's a little snappier. Uh, it has a higher bore access, and the grip is a little bit shorter and with the Walther PPQ being a 15 round and this is an 18 round this grip is a little bit longer so that should make it easier to control uh, and keep on target it has a uh, slide release ambi on both sides this Walther takedown is pretty nice the way that they do this where you just pull it back a little bit pull that and it just comes apart so the takedown on these is pretty slick you do have to pull the trigger I believe on these uh yeah um uh once i take this to the range i'll report back on 
how I feel about it uh, when I get the, the new sights as well. We should be able to do a review on the excess big dots. I'm really excited for those sights. Comes with a full Picatinny. Comes with uh, two 18-round mags. The mags right now, I'm told, are pretty hard to get a hold of just because of all the Walder PDPs out there. I got a great deal on this. Um, they're out there. I paid four sixty-five on GunBroker for this. Um, so the deals are out there if you hunt for them. Uh, I know. I think this retails normally for around six fifty, maybe six hundred. Um, so I got a great deal on it. Uh, I'm very happy with what it came with. It came with a great case. Came with three different back straps, a speed loader, the lock, that kind of thing, as well as like some of the optic mounting items with this. But yeah, if if you're a fan of the Walder series, I know they make a four inch as well. Um, if you're a fan of the Walder series, you know, you can definitely capitalize on having, you know, a carry gun, uh, maybe this one as like your bedside table, one worth four and a half inch, or uh, you plan on potentially carrying it like I do. Uh, you can share mags between your, your different handguns. Uh, I, I think they're going to keep this platform for a decent amount of time. I don't see any reason why they'd switch away. It's relatively recent. They put out a pretty big marketing campaign with these. But overall, really impressed. I think there's a lot of upgrades on this, uh, especially the grip texture. But uh, might make some modifications. I'll let you know how those improve this pistol. If you have any comments, please leave them. Thank you for watching.